Welcome to a special. Am I looking to this camera? It's a, okay, cool. Uh, welcome to a special edition of Podcast and Chill, the lockdown edition. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so wow, honored, okay. man, because I'm chilling with legends. I mean, I used to listen to your music growing up, Gang of Instrumentals. Yeah, I used to man. watch you on backstage, you know, good old days. Did you ever listen to Gang of Instrumentals, by the way? Of course. Yeah. What was your favorite song? I don't know. <laughs> I remember I used to like. Uh, my number, one. my number one. My number one. You're my number one. Yeah, those are great times, man. Yo, Would you travel. ever do music again? Do you I think? mean, you know, I'm, I'm always doing music because for the TV show, yes. you know, it's uh, 50% Actually, music. Actually, he directs in music. Yeah. Oh, you direct? It's like we do a scene and then you'll be like, okay, so on this part, the beat's going to come in like this. <laughs> so when you're playing the scene, you already know the whole setup. You know what it's going to sound like. Then you match what you're performing to the sound that he hears. It's actually quite ingenious. Yeah. I remember I was with uh, uh, um, Mandla. Where were we? Free State? Where were we? Yeah, Free Fitzpeg. Fitzpeg, yeah. Fitzpeg, yeah. Uh, last year sometime. Yeah. So literally, because I'm a fan of the show, I'm having like a groupie moment. <laughs> I think I started annoying him. I could see he was getting annoyed, but no, I, no, I no, didn't no. care. Mantra, your show is great. I love I it. Remember. I can't believe it's South African. It's so dope. He's like, yeah, you know, he's trying to be humble. You yes. know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, you know, you know what he says you. to me? He says, yeah. actually, you know, my wife got me into this thing. You know what I mean? My lady, actually. Let me not say wife. I don't know. Yeah. You know? He says, my lady got me into this. And when she was like, hey, you got to watch the show. I was like, nah, why? Oh, local content. Let me see. And then blown away. Yeah. And that's what a lot of people go through. Think yeah. okay, local show, South African show, and then when they get to watch it, they start appreciating the art. You yeah. know, yeah. we'll get more into the show later. Mm -hmm. Take me back from the beginning. Where yeah. were you when you came up with the idea? What were you doing? When what I came happened? up with lockdown, yeah, uh, my man. You know, growing up, uh, 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 obviously, I grew up in Soweto. Mm. You know, uh, obviously, you know, an uncle or a brother or a next door neighbor that's going to prison. You've never wrong. been into prison? No, no, no. I've okay. never been into. Well, holding cells now and then. You know how. It is. <laughs> Holding cells. I've never yeah. been inside. I've never been <laughs> gang charged. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. Touch wood. Actually. Yo, yo, yo. Come on. I'm also doing my end. The creator of lockdown. is <laughs> locked. Actually. Yes, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, and then I was always, I've always been fascinated by prison stories, you know? As with every single kid, you know, you Yizo, see Yizo. The, the, Yizo, when Yizo, Yizo came out, I was like, wow, this is something else. It was very scary as well at the time. And then, uh, and then um, after a show back in the day called Prisoner, you know, uh, South Block Age, it was a, an Australian show. Oh, okay. After that show premiered, I was like, oh, you know. And what? Oz, did you watch Oz? Yeah, Oz, Oz was something else. Mm. And then I was like, no, we got to have a female uh, 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 prison story so in this South Africa. So this has been a long time it's coming. It's been a long time coming, you know. Oh. It's been a I think that's the thing, is that no one else would have had the idea to go 
but let's do a female version. Mm. It's like Prison Break. All of them came yeah. out, yeah. and it's all male it's based. All male. And Oz. I think exactly. And I think yeah. the fact that you went in, and I mean, our country is quite conservative, and queen, open minded, yeah. and yeah. you know, to do a female prison show mm. at any time would have been a risky move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it ultimately, how do you? Have Women behaving the way that we do yeah. in a country that is quite conservative, in a country that still thinks of women as stay at home, yeah. cook the food, raise the kids, you know? Mm. Um, and I think that was the magic was going, well, I'm not going to do a prison show just. I'm going to do a female prison show. On every level, lockdown pushes the envelope. You have seen a rape scene or a mm. woman being violated mm. by a man over and over again, you've never seen it done by an uncle mm. to a woman. Yeah. And on lockdown, you see it. Yeah. You've seen men peddle drugs. You haven't seen women do it. You know, so I think it's about that thing of going, well, let's push the boundaries. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's why lockdown intrigues people. You watch one episode yeah. and then you're, you're like, hooked. I want to know what happens yeah. because <laughs> it gives you insight and then it's also like at the same time it's like is this real is this a documentary is this a <laughs> do you know what i mean people yeah. all the time ask what do you base this on yeah. and i'm like black brain does research yeah they sit at a table with people who have either been there people who have had the experience people who don't go to holding cells they've actually been in jail mm. and they research Tyson's crew, actually yeah yeah. The whole crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Tyson's whole crew has been... Because I remember, Lush, Lushia, you went through uh, like a hiatus, right? Uh, took a break from the industry, I'm guessing. Something like that. I, I wouldn't say... Um, I mean, we all like to camouflage it. Like... Taking a break, getting booked. Yes, yes. <laughs> Make it uh, pretty here. Okay, so when you see the script, what yes. grabs you? So, so let's start at the beginning, right? Yeah. So, at the time even of lockdown, I didn't have an agent, okay. right? Um, wow, you've been in the game for so many years. You didn't have an agent. That's crazy. I didn't until the first season of lockdown. That's, That's the first insane. time I got an agent, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I think so. Bo Mac let me know that there was this thing. Then he's like, when you get there, speak to a guy called... Mm. I ended up at the lockdown mission, mm. right? And it after... Um, so lockdown, we first aired in 2016, hey? That's I cool. had been off air for three and a half years. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. that uh, the sabbatical... Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a sabbatical. <laughs> I just, I think there wasn't women mm. um kind Is of performers that a that's a, it's a mm. huge thing. i insane. mean you can watch shows on on screen and there's not one colored performer on yeah. the show. not one not one. so for tyson i think first of all i had to even break so many boundaries to even get to the point where i thought i could play was I'd audition for other rough roles before, and people were like, no, you're too pretty, hey? But they let Charlize play Monster, which I don't get. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? Like, how, how is it as a South African? I remember when the first time I got in there, she thought she was going to be there for like minutes, every other audition. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> She's still there. <laughs> you know, because when I people, I don't, I don't uh, bring them in one by one. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I I pair them, I pair them. Oh, Let me see okay. how that one works yeah. with that one. Chemistry. She was, she was like, you know, there the whole time sitting there, even going, okay, can I please go get some and come back? Because I'm like, okay, Tyson. <laughs> pair with this. All the other people that were playing, that were auditioning for Tyson, they were like, I think this Oak's mind is already made up. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, But it was just, you know, the performance that she was bringing. You could tell that, okay, she took a three-year break. Yeah. You know, she was like. She was hungry, she was, she was <laughs> killing it. And I mean, you know, you know, the craft shows. You yeah, understand? And, yeah. And, and that's all that matters. I mean, we as directors, when you, when you get that craft, when you get that art, for us, it's a huge gift. You speak the same language. Any, and you can go anywhere with it. Yeah. And the nice thing about it is you just got to brief character, mm. give them character things, and then go, Tyson, give me what you, what, 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 what you do best. But how was it? Was it, how hard was it to get locked down off the road? Because I know when you approached a couple of channels, yeah, they turned you it down. Yeah, got rejected. Um, it got rejected four times. You which, 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 you know, which? 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 Which
Trent is still there. ETV, you know, that's no. four. <laughs> you know? Even within entertainment, my brother, there's yeah. politics. Yeah. Um, so you got to be diplomatic. So, mm. I mean, there's no way that he, I mean, Mandela could never answer <laughs> that relationships, Bob. It's relationships. Mm. And it's a know. small industry. So, so then they might have not been ready for it. Mm. I'm sure now that there's regret yeah. that they didn't jump it, yeah. you know, but... And that's the thing. I think we'll always be thankful to Mzanzi for taking taking the leap because yeah. it was a it was a risky move. But when those stations are saying no, no, do you start like doubting yourself? Like no, maybe it's not you, that good. You, you know it's good. You mm. know you have to tell yeah. that story. You know what I'm saying? It's like being a musician. Mm. You know, radio compilers can be like, nah, that song won't work. But when I deep down you, like, no mm. way. Of course it will. Let me try there. Let me try there. Let me try there. Because you know what you've got. And also, even with uh, uh, Zanz, it was like, I no, Mandla, I'm not sure. Yeah. And then we came back and we're like, trust me, dog, this is going to work. Because remember, this vision is in your head. Yeah. No one mm. else sees these characters. Yeah. Mm. You see, so of, even if you do sell it, you've got to be extra to really paint the picture for them because mm. they don't see it. And your skin color but doesn't help. Y- you understand. <laughs> 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 and uh, then, yeah. As a creative, like, you know, mm. we're all creatives here. Um, yeah. And one thing that, I always, uh, that always comes up when I talk to other creatives mm. is funding, you know. Yeah. It's hard, sp- especially people of our color, to get funding for the visions and the projects that you want to do. Yeah. Was it the same with lockdown for you as well? Definitely. I mean, you know, uh, funding is, is, is the hardest thing, you know, mm. to basically get because, you know, you've got amazing ideas, especially if you go to every single township in South Africa. The ideas there are insane. But the only mm. thing that's separating them from the guys that are making it happen and them, it's the funding. Yeah. Great businesses, great venture, but you can't, you know, because of the funding. So it's always good to educate people yeah. about, um, and, and I feel like, you know, our government needs to do a lot more as to educating people about the funding structures that they have, mm. because, you know, the biggest argument is, yeah, but you guys don't fill in forms. Obviously, I mean, you know, we're coming from previously disadvantaged. Mm. You, you get what mm. I'm saying? You know who the brilliant uh, 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 filmmakers are. Approach them. Give them the funds. Don't mm. be like, no, let's wait for Because then you get movies that are mediocre, mm. that our government makes every year. Because but those people know how to They know how to forms. fill in forms. And yeah. then, you, you know, 80% of them are Afrikaans films. Mm. You understand? But they don't, they don't go, no. I know that actually Siriti makes great films. Mm. Let me give Tabang the money. Give me a film. Khaupi, g- here's the money. Give me a film. We know the filmmakers. Mm. We're all in the same circles. Why don't you just go to them? You can't ask Khaupi to fill in the form. She's a DOP. Mm. That's what she does. You can't ask Jabupule to basically fill in. Let Jabupule play soccer. Mm. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Do you still go through those struggles? Even all the time. All the time. Every single, every single day you go through those struggles, my brother. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And it's just the level of thinking. It's a mindset thing. Mm. Yeah. You know? I won't, I won't go, when I want an actor, I go and get that actor. You know what I'm saying? But I can't expect that actor to now produce and do also. No, yeah. you get people for that. Yeah. They must fill in the forms. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? No, I hear you. They must give the, 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 the creators funds so that the creators can create. Yeah. Mm. So, Losha, when you mm. go back to work now, <laughs> yeah. so we're working at lockdown. Because I'm not on a sabbatical anymore. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> at, at what point do you. First, first of all, how is it different from all the other stuff that you've done? I get asked this question often, actually. And before Tyson, I think there was a lot of typecasting. Yeah. It took me a long time to break that Charmaine image. Yes. Um, I think people like... Even now, I still think I'm talking oh to Charmaine. Yeah, Charmaine, my brother. <laughs> you know, Charmaine, Charmaine really... Like <laughs> in every young boy's <laughs> mind. I remember... I think she tricked me because oh I was looking at going, yo, it's Charmaine cross Tyson. This is a cross between Charmaine and Tyson. That's why she stayed there for three hours because I was like, wow. Dude, thank God. That's what I mean. Out of every other audition room in the world, Charmaine walked into mine. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, um, what to say about that I'm <laughs> blushing so badly but let me f- continue so I think um, stepping into Tyson it was obviously for the first time people were like oh she can act I was like what have I been doing all this time if I can only act now yeah. Tyson was the first time that people acknowledged that I could act mm-hmm. that I could 
that I wasn't a dancer choreographer who is acting. No, they then referred to me as an actress. So shout out to the Safta. Oh, oh wow. yeah, yeah, big shout yeah, out to Shout out, shout out to the Safta. Like, listen, you don't get a Safta unless you see something in you. So, does that, that, and that's all you. Does you know? that matter to you guys, the Safta? Oh, it's a nice to have. No, it's, it's, it's never a nice to have. Do you get what I'm saying? Psychologically, it's always great if your peers recognize your work. Right. You understand? So you can never be like, no, it's a nice to have. It's, it's very important. You know what I mean? The fact that you acknowledge my craft, you acknowledge what I do, trust me, I'm going to go back and create another one and another one and another one. You get what I'm saying? So obviously, you know, if you don't acknowledge your mm. talent or you ignore, how are you expecting to get season 10? Mm. Right. You got to acknowledge. Right, by the way, is Mandla paying you right? Is he paying you what you deserve? <laughs> We're coming to that. <laughs> We're coming to that. We, do we don't want another Fatiswa. <laughs> five seasons. <laughs> we are five seasons in. Listen, <laughs> yo, let's not do that political thing. <laughs> we are five seasons let's in. Let's not. Like, <laughs> let's not do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What would you say? <laughs> what would you say the similarities are between uh, Tyson and, and you as Losha Cooper? We colored. <laughs> 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 You know, truth be told, Drop that Tyson, fucking thing of yours. <laughs> when you grow up in the Cape Flats, Tyson, you have a choice. Either you become Tyson or you don't become Tyson. Mm. You, and there's no middle, middle mark. Ground. So for me, growing up as a child and going to dancing, it, which is what me, I think, on a, st on a, on a straight road, you know, uh, Tyson was I didn't want to be. Yeah. Tyson was every single person who I used to look at who was like Tyson, Every day I would tell myself, I'm not going to be like that. I'm not going to be like that. So having to play someone and confront a character who I didn't want to be mm. my whole life yeah. is often very hard. It's, it's often like, wow, you are now playing exactly who you didn't want to be. And it's humbling you because it's making you look at the human side of what you used to deem a monster. Wow. You know, wow. I look at Tyson. I look at Mazette. I look at all the characters on the show and I'm like, there's a human there. And that's the thing, is that when you watch Lockdown, it's not just about the crime. It becomes about the human behind the crime. It becomes about a human who's done terrible things, but pain is still pain. Mm. Crying is still crying. Mm. The stories that they tell is still rele relevant to someone, regardless of whether they've been to jail or not. If you've lost a child, you've lost a child. Yeah. Like whether you're sitting behind in a prison cell or whether you're sitting out there. To Tyson, her preference is jail. I mean, Tyson... I think for her to get out of jail, it's almost like her life would cease to exist. That small world is a oh, whole world. world. Mm, so mm, for mm. some people in jail, it is like that. Some of us are, are sitting outside of jail, but we don't have the freedom, mm. you know? Yeah, yeah. So I think it's also about telling human stories. It just happens to be in a prison, mm. you know? The, the environment just happens to be a prison, but you do see the human element in every single character. And then you see the monster element. And it makes me think, you know, I think so often in society, we're looking at the crime and we are not looking at the cause of the crime. Mm. What brought that person? The and root. it's made me think mm. often, like we keep band-aiding this like behavior. And I'm like, but guys, psychologically, let's go back as a society and let's ask where did this begin? You know, um, our president said something so interesting um, not so long ago. And I remember him saying, like, well, where are the parents? You're all blaming government. Where are the parents? Mm -hmm. Where are the parents who are raising these kids? And that's also another, it's a, it's a difficult conversation to have because parents are out there putting bread on the table. You see often kids Ooh. sitting on the side of Ooh. the road waiting for a taxi at six, seven years old. Well, what are they supposed to do? Mm -hmm. Like, what is our society doing to best support parents, one, and two, then best support the child, you know? Um, and so the problems begin from there already. I look at Tyson and I'm like, where did this problem begin? Yeah, yeah. Where did it begin? And then what you do is you put her in an environment where it's fight or flight. What is she going to do? The people who are... Survival. You know, and look at the cast and they're, they're in the environment, there are people who are going to be someone else's bitch. Mm. And there are people who are not. Yeah. Tyson's one of those characters who Just are Just like not. in life. Mazette is not, you know? And then mm. the characters who are. So it's like, you look at that... And in real life, it's like that too. Mm. You know, who's going to win and who's going to yeah. lose? But it's definitely made me, given me a lot more compassion and less judgment for people who do have, 
you know, who have committed crimes. Because my question is, what went wrong mm. and where in mm. your life did it go wrong yeah. for you to make the choice that you did? Wow. Lost you for president, huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> I get this all the time. She's my therapist. Bro. <laughs> I can see. I can oh, see. She's my therapist. Dog. I've talked I've to her before. <laughs> when, when I watch when lockdown. I down, I phone her. She's yo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. She's I'm going to go conquer the world now. Tyson said I could do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> what would Tyson do? <laughs> you know? Um, so when I look at your, your show, right, mm. the production, the casting, how it's shot, the storyline. I'm like, this is freaking amazing. You can tell that there's a lot of soul, a lot of passion put into the work. And, you know, it comes across. Take me in a, a day like of you guys shooting. Like, w yeah. what transpires? First of all, it's not accountants coming up with the story. Yeah. You know, that's why you're experiencing, uh, you know, the passion. You understand? And the art. And also as well, I mean, you know, if, if I had to take you through kind of like the day of shoot. You must understand, you know, everybody is out there to bring their A-game. Mm -hmm. And we celebrate every single moment. Mm -hmm. When we get that, that amazing performance from an extra, we are like, yo, did an you extra? Yeah. Wow. You get what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. also, you must reward them, mm -hmm. you know? When you work with them, you're like, well done, Tiger. Well done. You, you understand? Mm -hmm. You're constantly building them up so that every time they come into a scene, it becomes a different thing altogether. Mm -hmm. You know, so rewarding all the time. And then also, I work with the best team in the country. You know, I work with Khaupi. Yeah. I mean, just her thinking, her, her shots, everything is just out of this world, you know. And um, also my team, you know, shout out to Tando, you understand? You know, she keeps me in check, you know, when it comes to continuity, when it comes to style, when it comes to performance continuity as well, you know. And also the performers. The performers, I, I, I'm working with seasoned people. I'm not working mm. with people who have following or anything yeah, like yeah, that. It's yeah. not about the followers here, yeah. you know. It's about, it's about the, the craft. craft. Yeah. So obviously, you know, when we approach every scene, we're like, okay, cool. I see what the script has done. You know, it's nice. It's giving us a nice uh, uh, background. But where would we take it? Yeah. Now you start asking the actors. Now they start crafting yeah. it. You know, they start improving it. So remember, nothing is final till it's in the can. Mm. So we are constantly evolving the script. You know, it doesn't end here, you know, with the writing team or with the brainstorming team or anything like that. It ends on set. And if you look at the set, you will find that probably 40 to 50% of the scripts are done on set. You understand? Was well, it a conscious decision to get inmates involved? Yeah, I mean, you understand, you, you know, for, for, for dialogue, for one, you understand, you know, you got to you got to get also 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 as well the nuances. Mm. You know, they understand the world. You know, the things like sarsant. Mm. You know, don't say warden. Uh -uh. <laughs> things like you know, let me go, let me go. Uh, and you uh, wouldn't know that. No, yeah. you are not in that space. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Things yeah. like uh, 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 um, the, the the outside world. You know, is called Africa. Yeah. You understand? I'm going out. I'm, I'm not going out. I'm going to Africa, guys. You yeah, understand? Yeah. So those are things that, you know, uh, 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 normal people Wouldn't who know. haven't been to prison won't know. Yeah. So you've got to keep your story authentic. And also as well, people gravitate to the truth. Yeah. People gravitate to Authenticity, what's real. yeah. So obviously, if I'm going to create something and you can tell with that, this one will never be in prison. Yeah. You know, she doesn't have it. She doesn't how how long is the, is the process? How long do you guys shoot I for? mean, the casting, the casting process for me took me about eight months. You know, wow, I mean, yeah, yeah, I went eight to every, months? Yeah, I went to townships. I went to, you understand? I mean, for me to find Tyson's crew, you, you won't find Tyson's crew no. in any other place. Yeah. Mazet's crew, you won't find those people no. in, ad, a, in agencies or anything like that. No. You understand? Those people you have to find in the streets. Mm. Yeah. You understand? You know, uh, so uh, obviously that's what um, I did. But the shooting process can take anything from six weeks. Oh, we whoa. broke the record now. We sh did it in three weeks. Hey, but only because the accountants are coming down on us. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. You know, you've got those pressures. But the beauty about being on Showmax is now you've got a global pl platform. platform. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm getting calls from Germany, you know, wow. from London. Wow. You know, people saying, yo, I just watched your show. I love it. Mm. When are you coming to Berlin Fe Film Festival? Festival? When yeah. are you go mm. coming to LA Film Festival? You understand? Yeah. So obviously, this is just uh, uh, the platform yeah. that uh, Show Makes gives, gives yeah. us. Mm. I want to talk to you about, like, mm. you as an actress. Um, when you, Because you've been, like, twenty more than 20 years in the game. 
How's it changed now? How old now? were you when you were watching Charmaine? Oh, I was like, I was like, 13. <laughs> I was like, 13, 13 12. 13, 13. That's the whole problem. <laughs> That's the whole thing. With my Vaseline so, so, so right now you are looking at her in a different... <laughs> hey. Oh. <laughs> Grown men who were in puberty. <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, we underestimate our audiences. We are our consumer. We underestimate them. Um, the one thing that Africans do know is real. They do because they connect to stuff on an emotional level. We are not people who watch a show by numbers. Our audiences aren't watching light. They're looking for an experience. They're not watching lines. They're not watching a shadow. They're not watching continuity. They're waiting to be transcended. Africans, we are like that. Whether it's music whether it's a TV show, whether it's poetry, we want to get a feeling. We all work on feeling, you know? Yeah, well, um, exactly. And, and, and that is what the responsibility of entertainment is, is to transcend your audience. I do feel that popularity will not ever trump skill. Mm -hmm. you, you can't fake it. You, something like performing, you cannot fake it. It's just, and people can resonate with lockdown because we resonate with lockdown. I mean, when we go on set, it's all in. There's no like half measure. There's no like, oh no, I'm not gonna cry that real tear. Yeah. It's 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 down to the line, the realest you'll ever get. And I think what I respect most of all is that we even have one of the largest female crews working on mm -hmm. lockdown. It's not just this thing where we go pro female. No, no, it's pro female on every single level. Maybe that's why. That's so good. You said it. Wow. You said it. Yeah. <laughs> So, and I think then the leadership of a, of a male figure directing an all-female cast, predominantly female cast, I mean, for me it's always, I look at it and I go, this is what our country should be aspiring to, is this synergy, yeah. you know? Um, but I think ultimately, at the end of the day, like Mandla said, you know, globally now, Showmax has given us a foot to stand on, Ooh. and I've always felt that lockdown had global appeal. I had a guy come in to install Fix My DSTV the other day and he was like, I love your show. Yeah. I love your show. It was a white guy. Oh, when he it. said, I love your work, I was like, man, I haven't been on Cake Net. What's <laughs> that? <laughs> that was my first yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> It's like, you yeah. guys, you know what? If people internationally saw your show, Orange is the New Black wouldn't exist. 100%. I, I like, agree. Well, I oh, agree. this guy watches Lockdown. Yeah, it's yeah. like, I love your show. It's so good. It's so real. And I was so touched by that because I thought, here's someone who can make the comparison between two shows, and he chose a local show, yeah. you know? And so being on Showmax, opening that door to just having more access mm -hmm. and for, for the consumer to have more access to us, dream come true. Yeah. Also, I mean, we're the only drama series that's ever had five seasons. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. yeah. It, it, yeah. It, it, it brings me to my next point, because when I watch Orange is the New Black, first season, oh, oh this is my story, like, you know, second season, third season, it started too well, I feel like, oh, yeah, it's pretty much the same. But with you guys, you have managed to keep the audience captivated five seasons in. Yeah. Like at no point, when I watch it, I don't want it to end. Right? <laughs> know. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there's a lot of there's a lot of skill in that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because it's easy to have uh, a season. It's like a song, one hit one. Right. Yep. But how do you produce ten hits? Yes. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just got to be good. On the police. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You know my police. I mean, you know. Uh, so how do you keep people and your stakeholders satisfied? You know, I think I, th I, I think um, you know. She said it to me. Yeah. You, 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 you got to put in the work. You yeah. got to put in the work. Did you ever think it'd be this big, bro? You know what? Funny enough. I'm going to uh, answer that. Uh, uh, Let me answer that. Answer that. Right. Yeah. We shoot season one. Guys. Let's just go out with the bang. Oh yeah. And then, let's just go out with the bang. <laughs> then we get second season. Yeah, we got second season. <laughs> then when we go into second season, we're like, guys, you know what? We don't know if we're gonna get another That's one. Right. Yeah. But let's go out with the bang. <laughs> then season three, guys, you, 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 we got season three. Okay, listen. No, we definitely. This is the last one here, guys. Yeah. Let's go out with the bang. Five seasons later, even shooting season five, we go into it without taking for granted that it's so good that we are guaranteed. No. We don't go into it with guarantee. We work, and that's what's beautiful. It's like, 
you're only as good as your last performance. So if this was any of our last performance, we would be happily hanging up our hat with pride. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't be banking on the next thing. It's not a guarantee. Only as good as your last show. Yeah. Only as good as your last show. And so we work every season like it's our grand finale. Yeah. And God willing, we get six. We'll work six like it's our grand finale. So there's no egos in play. I, 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 I used to play soccer and every time I went to lockdown, it's like, it was a soccer team. Everyone's just bringing the AK. All the time. You know? time. You know, makeup, wardrobe, everybody's like, yo, man, like, you know, you, this season, I'm, 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 I'm going all out, I'm killing you this season. So and I'm like, okay, cool, let me see what you got. Yeah. And it's just wardrobe, makeup, all, all the departments are coming to play. Every single person who works on lockdown yeah. earnestly loves the show. Yeah. Does Losha yes. ever come to you? Sorry to cut yeah. you. Hmm? Does Losha ever come to you and be like, all right, cool, I see where you want to go with this scene, but... Because I've been in this game longer than you. Yeah. <laughs> remember, 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 we five seasons in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so this is how I direct Losha. Yeah. <laughs> Babe, you got it. <laughs> Drop Spike. Let's go. We're five seasons in. You know what I mean? I can tell her about Tyson. She's not the character that I know. <laughs> But he knows the story yeah. and because, you see, that's the thing, is that the relationship between a performer, a director, and the crew, you have to understand the performers, we're so precious, we make it about us. No, sometimes it's actually that that shot is going to work and you've got to come down and adjust, or the story is more important because he knows what's happening with 15 yeah. other characters. So you can't play, he knows what the next scene is. So if you're playing sad in this scene, because that's what you as a performer thinks you should do, and the next scene's also sad, there's no color. It yeah. becomes dull. The scene, the, 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 the episode becomes dull. So he comes to you, even if you thought it was wow, supposed to be so sad. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> 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 I lost the guys. <laughs> 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 Where's the Vaseline? How dare you have that Although I know that that was the reality. Yeah. <laughs> I so, yeah. I've raised a lot of boys. I've been to men. Yes, and I'm on cancer. Tube tops, twin splits. <laughs> everyone very differently. He doesn't use the same lingo that he uses with me or the same approach that he uses with someone else. Because we're all different, he knows that we're all different, so he knows how to bring the best out of you in that scene by addressing you on your level. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't come to me and then he's precious about Tyson, no. It's like straight straight to the cut, like he's like, so listen in this scene, so this is all I want, the rest you do. Yeah. That's it. He'll give me what he wants, I'll hit what he wants, and I'll bring what I bring, you know? Yeah. And then if it didn't work, he'll come back and go, you know, when you do this, let's just take it here. So the direction is very, he has the holistic picture in his head already. And that's what you've got to trust being on lockdown. We always under time pressure. We are always under pressure because we want to get the best shot. Sometimes those shots take forever. We're under pressure because we want to get the best emotion. So it's a lot of things that work together like beautifully it's so damn hard to film the show you don't understand we are running and chasing the intensity all the time i mean what you see on screen we should have doubled the amount of time to, to film yeah. you really should triple even yeah, but we push and all make it work. Yeah. well we make it work because i think at the end of the day it's not a job yeah this is not a job for us you know we, we're gifted to be able to to perform and to practice our craft on this level. Mm -hmm. We are. There aren't lots of great stories out there. Mm -hmm. And then the few stories that are good, you want to really, really invest in it, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And we love the show. I can't explain it to you. Like the women who work on the show love the show. They love each other. Like when you're an extra in someone's scene, you are such a good extra in their background that it makes their scene look good. You don't go there, guy, I don't have lines, I don't care. Yeah. No, you're performing in the background, you're making sure that Tyson's still there, you're making sure that Mazet's still there, mm -hmm. even though it's slender. And also Tyson will throw them off. Mm -hmm. He'll go, hey, what do you think about this? And now they, if they're not in the moment, yeah, you lost, you lost. Because wow. she's giving them gifts. Yeah. You see, that's, that's the power of having experienced performers, you know what I'm saying? Some scenes are just, you know, they, they happen right there and then, you know what I'm saying? It's just magic. 
Uh, let's talk about the digital space. Yeah. The fourth industrial revolution. It's yeah. coming. It's coming. Um, oh, it's here. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so let, and then I'm gonna leave you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you'll chill with my yeah. little yeah. talk yeah. figures and numbers and yeah. things that we don't want to talk about. Yes, yes. How, how has it impacted the character, your career, that you said? Oh, immensely. Like I said, I think it's always hard to be. So it's hard to be a dancer, choreographer, then become an actress because people always they always second guess the other thing you're good at, right? So, so you'll always be a dancer to them. You'll never be able to break that mold. Mm -hmm. um, and, and Tyson broke that mold. The box. Yeah. Tyson, now people don't go, oh, Lorsha the dancer, mm -hmm. even though I'm acting on a show, you know? And I think Tyson did that for me. Tyson really, really opened that door and people cease to look at me like the dancer with the body who's pretty who's going to do splits just now and make 13 year old boys happy, <laughs> you know? Um, I think people saw a level of performance through Tyson that even I was surprised, actually. I, did, I, I had no idea it was going to be so big. I, I, I didn't even think I'd win a SAFTA. I mean, that, and that was huge. And again, it's because of the peer recognition, you know? The acknowledgement is great. It took 20 years to hold the SAFTA, you know? Um, and so Jeez. it's not about the fact that you're better than anyone else, that you get to hold a SAFTA. It's just, it's really humbling to be acknowledged, mm. you know. Um, I also think that being able to be a part of a production and an ensemble that absolutely loves what they do. No one's there for fame. Mm. I, I mean, none of us ever thought that we'd win SAFTAs for lockdown. Yeah. We didn't go into it for that. We didn't go into it going, yeah, 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 this show's going to make and me think. the beauty lies. Yeah. I mean, you never think you're good enough. So, you, mm. I mean, I look at my work as Tyson, even now, and I can crit it. Yes. Like, I'm even, I, I don't watch in real time. I have to watch after everyone else has watched because I'm my worst critic. You know, I, I'll walk off set and I'll be like, that wasn't good enough. Mm -hmm. And so for me, that's actually important. It's important for me to mm -hmm. go, yeah, that was good. And then look at it and go, no, that, that wasn't so good. You never get to the point as an artist where you're your biggest fan, you know? Yeah. Like your work has got to speak all the time. So you've got to raise the bar all the time. And so on lockdown, it's like no one's each other's competition. You're your competition. Mm -hmm. And it is evident. It is so evident. If, 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 if the scene must be you topless taking a shower, then that's the scene. And there's no like, no one's going, but, but my boobs. Hey man, it's boobs, we all have boobs, let's go, let's shoot. Let's get it, let's get the shot. Let's make it great. So even within ourselves, we're pushing boundaries. And I think more than anything, I'll always be thankful to lockdown for that. It made me push boundaries even within myself. It made me question what boxes people placed me in, you know? Wow. Tyson, Dosha Cooper, Kumaru, thank you so much. Thank you. And, you know, we love you guys. And you are definitely making TV great again. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's good. You're going to make TV great again. Um, in a very different way. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to leave you with my yeah, yeah. He makes TV great, baby. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But thank you so much thank for joining you. us, man. Thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you. That is Dosha Cooper. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yes. uh, where are we? Fourth Industrial Revolution yeah, fourth is here. Industrial Revolution. How is it impacting you as a producer? I'm having to think differently. Mm. You know, um, I'm having to listen to a lot of uh, uh, young people. You know, especially kind of like, you know, from... I'm having to learn a lot from my kids. What they looking at, what they find attractive, what they playing with. When it comes to gadgets, because yeah, when you started, there was none of this. There was none of this stuff. I mean, my kids are making movies off their iPad. You kidding? Yeah, they're making movies off their iPad. You know what I mean? And I'm like, wow, yo, if only I had that, I'd be a much better filmmaker right now. You know? Mm -hmm. And it's just fascinating how how fast this whole world is growing and how technology is impacting our world. So that's why even now the communication of lockdown can't just be the t Back in the day, I, I would just do the TV show and one pro. Mm. Now I'm having to do communication here, communication there. Podcasts. Because this one is going to LinkedIn, it's going to uh, Facebook, it's going to YouTube, it's going, you understand? Yeah. So obviously the assets that I'm having to create are a lot more than just 
my craft, which is the actual TV show. Yeah. yeah. And um, I'm sure there's a lot of young people that are watching this now uh -huh. who would like to follow your footsteps as a director um, yeah. and have a world-renowned show like Lockdown. Uh, what mm -hmm. advice would you give them? Because I think it's important you shed some light on you know some of the challenges they can expect. Yeah. And, you know, what your secret has been for longevity. I think for guys who grew up like me, who are from townships and things like that, you know, they need to transcend. You understand? You know, it's no longer about South Africa anymore. You know, you can see from the rise of the Trevor Noahs of the world, you understand? It's not just about South Africa. So they must not just think South Africa, they must think global. And also, the more you learn, the more you realize how little you know. You understand? I'm still learning now. I'm learning the fourth industrial revolution now. I'm I'm at school, I'm studying at, uh, you know, last year I was studying, you know, doing, um, you know, some courses. Yeah, 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 brand and marketing management. Now I'm going to digital management, you know what I'm saying? I have to study all the time because, you know, um, I'm constantly learning, I'm growing. And also as well, research, research, research. Don't think you're going to make amazing movies if you don't research the characters. The level of research I go into is just insane. Yeah. And that's why for me, you know, I'm able to extract so much performance out of people because I understand those people deep, you understand? I take some time to research, I take some time to go to the township and ask about them. That's the only way you're going to create amazing product. Yeah. yeah. And um, are, are you at any point, if I have a dope idea, dope yeah. show, uh, is there a way I can reach you? No, just... for sure. I mean, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, you know, tag me. Uh, on uh, manja underscore n that's yeah. on Instagram if you're a performer you know do some stuff perform you know you can't right now with technology you know you can be a monologue be all choose a scene from lockdown and basically be Tyson for that scene yeah. because at the end of the day you know uh, that's how I find uh, most of my performers as well okay. also musicians you know maybe see with the lady who does um, the lockdown soundtrack okay. is from Instagram. I found her on Instagram. She tagged me and looked at her, went to her page, and it was like, wow. But she had to bring it in, and now she does all the soundtracks. You know what I mean? And I mean, I thought you were going to get the band together. Yeah? Okay. I thought you were going to get Oh, no, no, no. Get on the streets of, you know, you, you, you know, I can never say never. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm in constant uh, communication with Paul Wright and uh, two me are similar, so you never know what might happen. Maybe we might just. Get together, buy a few drinks, and just make uh, one last one. You know, because you, you, you guys did crossover before we knew what crossover was. Yeah, we did. We did, we did. <laughs> I mean, I mean, all the shows that we go to would be us and freshly crowned. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, we did. And, and also we fill up Aman's crowd, and then all of a sudden you are in the Queen's plate. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. That, was, that was that was humbling, you know. Um, yeah. I want to ask you one last question before you go. Mm -hmm. As someone who's in the industry, you know more about the same and shit like that. Yeah. The whole situation about you know the Ferguson's and then Patrick Swar. What's your take on that? I think um, that's just education. You know, um, education is everything. And also, um, if you look at education yeah. on whose terms? Chain, chain. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Yeah, 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 the supply chain. Okay. You understand the supply chain. It doesn't start with the Fergusons. You know what I'm saying? The Fergusons are one step before the front line, before the actors, before everybody else. You understand? But before that, it's accountants. It's 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 Nelspass. If you want, you understand? It's it, it, it's Nelspass. From Nelspass, it's um, Zanz Magic. From Zanz Magic, it's to the producers. You know, from the producers, it's then to the actors. You get what I'm saying? So obviously. If you're going to um, uh, 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 judge people or whatever, you're going to see the root. Because mm -hmm. no one is basically going, who assigns those budgets? Because the Ferguson's don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? The Ferguson's just receive the budget and go, okay, cool. How can we best distribute this budget by making a great show? Mm -hmm. You understand? So it's always, it's always, um, and also as well, you know, our government needs to fund our productions. You understand? They also need to regulate this industry. Because some channels get more budget than other channels. Really? Yeah, you know what I mean. Some some channels get more budget than other channels. Mm -hmm. You understand? And also as well, you know, the, the people justify it uh, as in no, 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 no. There's more ads on that because white people are paid and they put buying power and all sorts of things. You know, mm -hmm. so you don't need to give that channel more money because their market is not. You understand? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of those uh, politics and those are issues that we've had for a very long time. I mean, if you remember back in the day, you understand why channels had more budget, more money, yeah. more, and it's still happening still today. Yeah. So obviously, you know, we, we need to, we need to, we need to really start at the core. Mm. You understand? Don't kill the messenger, because mm. all you're doing is just killing the messenger. 
Yeah. And at the end, you kill the messenger and it ends there. Mm. You know, you need to go to the court. Yeah. And also as well, you know, a lot of our young, of our black business people, you know, they, you know, they, they don't invest, they don't get it, they don't understand yeah. it. Mm. You see? Mm -hmm. So, and, and you look at a, a, a white uh, millionaires and all, they're investing in their stories, okay. they're investing in their culture. Africans movies, it's 80%, they're investing in, the, in their culture. But us, numbers. yeah, but us, we're not investing in our cultures. We're not making our movies. We're going to die and we would have had so many stories that we could have told because we need to. It's, it's, it's of national interest mm -hmm. to retain the culture, but we're not telling those stories. We're not taking out movies, we're not exporting our culture. We need to do that. Because we are consuming Hollywood culture, yeah. Indian culture. Now Nigeria is doing it very well because now we are consuming the culture, which is great. But we need to learn from those people so that we can export we can export our rich culture. We've got deep rich culture, but we're not expo uh, exporting. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, I wanted to say season five, so who we have? Season five. What's the plan? What's going I mean, on? you know, we're releasing uh, uh, every Thursday we're releasing an episode. You know, we're releasing two episodes actually oh, yeah. every Thursday. And uh, for the next month, and it's doing really, really well. You know, I'm happy with the guys. But you know what? Go on the platform, Showmax. Help us break the record. We want to be the highest watch show on Showmax ever. Nice. You nice. get what I'm saying? I mean, we've done that on Zantimagic, we've done that on other platforms, but, you know, we need you guys. We need South Africa, you know, to basically bring us the numbers, because obviously without the guys, I mean, you know, there's no season six. Yeah, 100%. And long may continue, man. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And yeah. any plans to develop other shows? I've got other shows, you know, you know, I've got other shows, you know, I'm working on a huge drama right now. Actually, I'm working on two dramas, I'm working on uh, uh, and about three movies as well. And then I'm working on ad campaigns and all sorts of things, you know, I'm active in the space. And um, yeah, I'm developing, uh, I'm, a, I'm a, um, a, you know, what is it, a supervising producers on some young filmmakers. They're making about four movies, you know, so it's just about telling our stories, telling our culture. And uh, obviously, if I can do it now, and if God gives me the strength, I'll keep on doing it for a very long time. Fantastic. Listen, if you ever need an extra... <laughs> Maybe no, 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 no. If, if, I need stories. I don't need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got plenty of those. Yeah, yeah, I know you do. Yeah, I know just you like Moshe, I want to see better though. But this is great, man. Shout out for this. Shout out for your podcast. And we're going to pay you more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're new. I'm going to pay you more.